Hello, my name is Marissa Bowman. I'm going to go over general principles. Number one, personal protective equipment must be utilized and appropriate medical asepsis must be maintained at all times. Number two, correct supplies and equipment must be assembled and organized. Number three, client instructions must be provided. Number four, the client must not be placed in physical jeopardy. Number five, the client must not be placed in emotional jeopardy. And number six, pertinent information must be reported and don't. Safety practices. Number one, verifies care and order for a client. Number two, perform team hygiene before and after performing any clinical care or handling supplies. Number three, verifies facility policy procedure and assembles appropriate equipment supplies. Uh, number four, consult manufacturer's recommendations when equipment is involved. Number five, knocks on the client's door. Number six, identifies client using two identifiers. Number seven, know all conditions of the client. Number eight, explain procedure to the client and provide for privacy. Number nine, elevates bed to promote good body mechanics. Number 10, dons PPE if indicated. Number 11, upon completion, lowers bed, applies side rails according to the client's care plan, places call system within reach. And number 12, if any abnormal findings is present, reports findings to the charge nurse immediately. First of all, I'm gonna be demonstrating donning and doffing PPE. At this point in time, I would wash my hands. And now I perform hand hunting before I leave the residence room.